This episode sponsored by our viewers. Thanks to folks like Ellie, Ivar, and Connor, we've been able to continue producing episodes. Our most dedicated sponsors are those that enjoy the show. You can show your support at everydaydrinkers.tv slash donate. Welcome to Sunday Night Shooters. I am your host, Eric Schomer. Our first episode of 2012. This, this recipe, Woots, comes from Adam. Congratulations, Adam, for being the first episode submitter for 2012. Um, the S'more Shooter. The first foundation, the reason I want to start with this before I get crazy, when people are going to ask, why am I not using marshmallow vodka for this? Because... This is called a s'more shooter without marshmallow in it. No frangelico, no marshmallow. So I wanted to try and have something to compare a recipe to that might have marshmallow vodka to see, you know, what is, is there a big difference? So what I started out. Are you going to make them side by side? I'm not going to make them side by side because I just don't have enough time right now. It's my vacation. I don't feel like spending it all burning under the heat. But maybe next week or something. Could do another one next week. Uh, so what I'm going to do is three quarters of an ounce of everything. I'm a slacker. It's like, just want to slack for a little bit. Oh, I'm using Crystal Head Vodka too, just for those uh, that watched. Oh, that's this. Last, my little tasting I did. Um, three quarters of an ounce. I wasn't that thrilled with that vodka. No. As it's very rough. It's... Well, it depends on your defin definition of rough, I guess. It is vodka. Yeah, so is absolute. I know. I like the absolute. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I like the absolute better. I, I don't know. And it's $18. That's 50 for us. I don't know. I I understand, like, the bottle design, the marketing, the the scarcity, like the, the idea of it makes people want to, I mean, we have a lot of people and the reason I have it is because people are like, dude, Crystal Head, try that stuff. It's, it's awesome. Or, or yeah, a lot of people I, like it. I don't know why. <laughs> it's a, it's a gold medal winner. It's not, it's just, it's a lot of money for what it is. You could get a gold medal winner for half the price. Tito's is a gold medal winner. I'm sure if you pull up most every vodka, they've won a medal someplace. America's best. I don't know. 20, like there's just, I was looking at this one, by the way, 22 main, main. Um, there's just so many alternatives and possibilities for vodka that I feel, why spend 50 when there's just so many possibilities? And there's so many different tastes. Bacon. That was, that was an extreme. <laughs> By the way, you could probably just stir this or just build it in the cocktail glass itself or in the shot glass itself. I just wanted to shake it because I wanted it to be a little chilled. Nothing special. No magic. Dilute a little water in there. And when you bring in the Godiva, you're already going to get something that's not very clear. So that's spare. One for the shot. Yes. Picture. Picture. <laughs> yeah, this is a shot. Smells like chocolate. Now, the honey works in the s'mores shooter because honey, typically, I think it's kind of the, the what's that stuff? Graham the, cracker. The graham cracker kind of has a honey in it so I, I can understand that the vodka obviously is just really here to to man it up a little bit to make it so it's just not a bunch of like schnapps like drinks um chocolate you need that in the s'mores so this recipe will be interesting using a marshmallow vodka i think this vodka specifically there's no burn in this taste i don't really get a lot of burn from it i understand i can see how this could be a s'mores like drink because it's got that it has, it's just missing the marshmallow, really. The, the absence of the marshmallow makes it a little less convincing, but knowing the name, S'mores Shooter, honey and chocolate, you kind of see where it's going. So you can, you, I think you can imagine those flavors in your mouth once you know what it's supposed to taste like. Um, 
by itself, I would say, if I didn't know the name, I'd say, ooh, it's a nice chocolate and honey. Um, throw a marshmallow in there, I think you're definitely gonna be like, whoa, that's like every component of s'mores. Whether it's gonna taste like it or not, I don't know. So for those that don't have marshmallow vodka, this is your next best thing, I think, until we test it ourselves. Uh, there you go, that is the, the s'mores. I don't even know what that word means, s'mores. Some more. Can I have some more? Mm -hmm. Does anybody know? Question of the day. I forgot the question of the day for half the episodes. Question of the day. Does anybody know what the heck s'mores means? I don't know. Everydaydrinkers.tv. We're teaching you how to drink.